Hey there, in today's video, we're going to be going over some New Year's Tango resolutions. Because this year has looked so incredibly different and I don't think that we're out of this pandemic anytime soon, I've created a list of goals that I have to improve my tango that unfortunately don't involve having a dance partner. So without further ado, let's get started. My first goal is to keep up with my strength training. This pandemic has lasted so long that I felt like I got in shape, I got out of shape, and I'm slowly getting back into shape. It's been a mess. Keeping up with my strength training is super important, especially because I'm not running around anymore and I just feel so much better when I exercise. I have found that having an accountability buddy and having a notebook where I'm tracking all the days that I do my exercises have encouraged me to stay on track because that way I'm not disappointing my friend and I'm seeing this nice little beautiful checklist that I've done every single day, some sort of exercise. I really miss having my yoga classes. It was an hour that I can block out only for me. There was nowhere else I can go. There was no phones distracting me. Just one hour of pure concentration on working on my body. Since we don't have that anymore, and as much as I love Zoom workout classes, I find that I've really created this regimen that works for myself. And so I've been trying to stick to it and really prioritizing it and also recognizing that a bad workout is better than no workout at all. I really miss having Milonga be my cardio, but for now I have to do what I can. My next resolution is to stretch more. Something that I love about tango is that unlike ballet, I no longer have to have my foot over my head, but I do want to maintain a certain level of stretch. It helps with my dance, I find, and it just makes me feel good overall to not be so stiff, especially sitting down for long periods of time at home. So just like with my exercising, I have an accountability buddy and we send each other photos every day to prove that we've done our stretching. And even if we're not doing the same thing, simply having somebody else track your progress with you, it makes it feel a little bit less lonely. And I have definitely found that even though I'm super, super tired, I will try to just do something rather than do no stretching at all. Because like I said before, a bad stretch is better than no stretch at all. Of course, be gentle. Don't ever force yourself into a certain stretch if you're not warmed up, but even doing some gentle uh, stretches at the end of the day, especially if you've been sitting down all day is super good for your body. Again, for tango, you don't have to be super flexible, but trying to improve my dance, I definitely find that flexibility helps. One goal that I have is to reheal all of my dance shoes. There's a big pile of shoes that need to be addressed here. I have, I think, five pairs of heels that are perfectly fine, except I just need to get them rehealed. Rehealing your shoes can extend the life of the shoe way beyond what you think um, it can be. And so I have to just take my pile, bring it to the cobbler, or better yet, look up on YouTube how to fix my own shoes because I'm sure that there's a way that I can do it. Because I spend $12 per shoe and I found a video that shows how to reheal women's high heels and replace just that uh, little rubber tip. I am kind of scared of messing up my shoe, so only if I'm 100% confident I could do it right will I do it. But that could save you a lot of money in the long run if you're purchasing new shoes simply because the heel is worn out. I really want to organize my music. I've been sort of just sitting on a pile of songs and I really want to take advantage of this time to organize by orchestra and by year and really start to delve more into music, into learning about the history, the different orchestras, the different types of instruments. This is a really great time to just spend some time on the computer sorting through music. Um, it's something that's been on my to-do list for a really long time and I guess now there's no more excuses. I still haven't done it nine months into the pandemic, but it's something that I really, really, really want to do and I've been thinking about doing. And lastly, I need to practice more drills. I've been making these YouTube videos about drills, however, I really need to make sure that I am not slipping on my own practice because it's so easy to just not want to put on your high heels if you don't have to. but. Come on, there's nothing better than getting into the zone, practicing just for yourself and making sure that you really are thinking about your movements and taking the time to just indulge in your own learning and your own enjoyment and your own exploration. We learn so much when we dance alone about our balance, about our musicality, and all of these elements will definitely help once you start dancing again with a partner. I am so excited to dance with friends when that day comes, and hopefully these drills will help me from completely forgetting everything I knew about tango. 
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Bye.